And for the news abroad, here's Maria Latosa reporting live from Perth, Australia. William, a grain industry expert, warns that Australia's canola industry will be dangerously exposed if it does not embrace value adding and urgently diversify its export markets. This comes after the blindsiding event in the grains industry in May when a sudden 80.5% tariff on Australian barley was imposed by China amid growing political tensions between Canberra and Beijing. Along with this, China has also imposed crippling tariffs on banning some beef exporters and urged students in China against studying in Australia. Trade Minister Simon Birmingham said that nations need to work closer rather than creating new barriers as the world seeks to recover from the deadly coronavirus pandemic. He even made a warning saying, we will all win together or we all lose together. In June this year, Senator Birmingham announced the official start of free trade talks with the UK. He told the National Press Club that Australia would be looking to secure better market access for goods, exports, especially in agriculture and high standard rules for digital trade and investment to expand Australia's already deep economic relationship. Furthermore, Australian Export Grains Innovation Centre Chief Economist uh, Professor Ross Kingwell said that the canola sector is at the mercy of the European policy. He said that Australia is very exposed to whatever happens in the European Union and the demand for canola that is used for biodiesel is predicated on the Renewable Energy Directive policy. He also emphasized how fortunate it is that Australia has been able to prove and verify that how it produces canola and the way it's delivered into the Europe has a small emissions footprint, which provides Australia lucrative access to that market. However, he raised concerns that if ever there is a change in that policy, such as tightening their regulations or raising the environmental bar, and Australia's agricultural industry can no longer satisfy that, then immediately Australia would lose access to that market. The Australian Bureau of Agricultural and Resource Economics and Sciences predicts an increase of 42% or 2.4 million tons of canola exports will take place in the next financial year. Moreover, according to the ABARES latest data, the Australian canola industry will undergo increased competition as price premiums become an incentive for producers of other feedstocks, including sunflower, for achieving necessary greenhouse gas emission thresholds. The UK was Australia's second largest trading partner almost 50 years ago, and currently Australia is the 12th largest trading partner. Professor Kingwell also introduced the idea of finding alternative uses for the canola being produced, be that in the feed industry or differentiated markets. <laughs> 